Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to solo Edwin Van Cleef as a level 25 rogue in Season of Discovery Phase 1. So just to show you the gear that I did this in, uh, it's pretty decent stuff, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, it's just stuff you can get off the auction house for a couple of gold, um, and the rest of it is you know either dungeons or quest items. Uh, the only thing that I got out of BFD would be my main hand weapon, but I've definitely done this um, with worse gear. I just didn't record it that time. Um, the talents that I'm running is combat, you know, for the Sinister Strike, uh, reduced cooldown on evasion, and the hit percentage. And the runes that I'm using are Saber Strike and Deadly Brew, which are the main ones. Uh, the first half of this video is just going to be me going through the skips to get to Van Cleef. If you already know how to do them, uh, then you just skip ahead. Uh, yeah, so basically all these doors you can just open from the front. So I just open that lever and then I jump back here because it's a, a reset spot. Um, the mobs are going to evade and then you can re-stealth. Yeah, I do this so I don't have to use my Vanish until later. I'm gonna skip ahead. Same thing with the door by Sneed. You want to wait for this, this mob to get to the end of his patrol so that you can uh, open the door without having to fight him. But if he does aggro, you can just solo him pretty easily. And then the next door, that's just a regular door. Stealth down here. Yep, and then same thing with this door, except you're gonna have to use Vanish on this one. Easy peasy. On to the next door. Uh, this door does require lock picking, but I think you just need level 1 lock picking. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, that's just what I read online. And the safe strat is to just go in the water over here, um, just so you don't have to walk by all those guys on the bridge. Um, yeah, and then you just jump to the side, Mr. Smite over here, and just be careful not to, you know, aggro one of these guys on the side over here. Okay, now we're gonna go skip ahead a little bit more. So, you're going to have to kill all the mobs on this floor. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. Uh, but just take it slow. Um, you should be able to kill them um, with any amount of armor that you have. I'm just going to skip ahead through this part. Um, and if you screw up like I did, you know, there's a lot of reset points on the ship. You can jump on any one of these cannons over here. Uh, you can jump on this big cannon over here. Uh, and then the mobs will just reset and you can just eat food and start up again. Yep, so I'm just killing the mobs, screwing up again, resetting again, going back to kill these mobs. Okay, yep, and then you stealth up here. Um, for consumables, you know, you can use consumables to make things go faster, but they're not necessary at all. Uh, the main ones I use are the, uh, the healing potion and the thistle tea, just to, you know, do more damage. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop evasion, do as much damage as I can. And when you get low on health, you just stand there and uh, drop drop down and bandage up. And make sure you don't drop down onto one of these, these cannons because then they're going to reset and he's going to get back his health. And yep, 
you're gonna run over here don't forget to mark Edwin just so you can see him through the walls so you know where he is yeah, you can just walk through all this stuff over here and when they get close you drop down and then they'll take the long way back and basically we're just gonna keep juggling these guys back and forth until our cooldowns are back up and our health is back up from bandages and then we're gonna pop evasion again and slowly kill Van Cleef. Yep, same thing here. Too far away. Population. As much more, uh, damage as you can. Righteous energy. Uh, one thing to note. When you do jump down over here, uh, be careful not to let the, the enemies hit you through the floor. That's why I'm staying back here. I'm not running up ahead too soon. Because if I ran up ahead too soon, y'all would have one shot me because they're all stacked on each other. And yep, this is the strategy. Run up, jump down. Yeah, just play it safe. Don't be in a rush. I forgot to mention. So, so he's gonna put a poison on you. It's a 60 second poison and it ticks pretty often, so it's gonna mess up your ability to bandage. So, you wanna bring some anti venoms with you. Um, they're really cheap to make if you have uh, bandaging, whatever you call the skill. First aid, that's the one. Um, if you have first aid, a small venom sack goes for like two silver on the auction house. You can make three anti venom. Um, so just use the anti venom. And once he gets super low, he's gonna start moving a lot slower. So yeah, I just heal up to be safe and then uh, I jump down and finish him off. And then I vanish to drop aggro. And there you go. So when this video started, it was... Uh, 12.05 uh, 12.25 so that took pretty much exactly 20 minutes uh, and that's with my screw ups so if you know you do it right and not the way I did it then you know you could do it faster and if your gear is a little worse then it might take you longer you might have to uh, you might have to do an extra rotation because you won't be able to do them in like three rotations. You might have to do them in four, maybe five. But yeah, that's it.